So you have numbers in trigonometric form. Now remember trigonometric form you can think of as r cosine theta plus i sine theta or you could think of that the shorthand for that is r cis. Cis stands for cosine i sine theta. That's just a shorthand for this and this notation represents a point that is rotate up theta from the positive x-axis, go out r, that's your point. Uh, the question is, how do you multiply numbers in complex form? Or how do you uh, divide them? Okay, And there's, there's two parts to this. The first part is how, and frankly that part's relatively simple. And the second part is why, and that'll come up in the next video. But let's think about the how right now. Uh, so, how? Let's suppose that I have 3 CIS 15 times 5 CIS 12. Sound good? This is really almost laughably easy. I do 3 times 5 CIS 15 plus 12. Now that's that's kind of weird. Uh, when you multiply two numbers in trigonometric form, you multiply the magnitudes or the radius, but you add the angles. Okay. Now there's another video that will explain precisely why that is, but uh, just for the time being. Uh, let me give you this sort of toy example to think about that. Um, well, what's the, what's the easiest complex number you could sort of think about here? How about the number i, or 0 plus i? Well, uh, how would you write that in trig form? Well, uh, what's, the, what's the radius? r equals 1, I guess. And what's theta? I guess theta equals 90, right? So if you wanted to write i, this is another example, by the way. Uh, I happens to be writable as hmm, 1 CIS 90, right? Uh, well, so let me just check and see that this rule that I told you here actually works. So uh, the question is, hey, what is I squared? I squared, well, I guess that's 1 CIS 90 times 1 CIS 90. If you believe what I told you up here was the rule, you'll multiply the 1's, so you get 1 CIS 180. Okay. Now what is 180? I guess if you think about that, if you translate that back to uh, back to reality over here, we have a, an angle of 180 degrees that's over to this line, and then out 1, a distance of 1, takes me out to the point negative 1. And indeed, i squared equals negative 1, and exactly the tool that was needed was adding the angles. So it's really kind of, kind of cool when you multiply two complex numbers, what you really end up doing is adding the angles. That's the thing that works. Okay, well, uh, so hopefully you can do this functionally. How do you divide? Uh, 3 CIS 15 degrees divided by 5 CIS 12 degrees. Well, you can imagine here you multiply the magnitudes. Here you're going to divide the magnitudes, so it's 3 fifths CIS. And now instead of adding these, you're going to subtract these. It's going to be 15 degrees minus 12 degrees, which is 3 fifths CIS 3 degrees. It always works just like that. Um, hmm, uh, I guess we could uh, just double check it with our silly little example up here. Uh, remember if I equals 1 CIS 90 degrees, then I over I 
guy I'd hope i over i is supposed to be 1 um, is 1 CIS 90 over 1 CIS 90 and we would get 1 CIS 90 minus 90 is 0 degrees and of course if you go out in the 0 degree direction and distance of 1 that is 1. Okay, uh, hopefully you, you think that's, that's pretty easy to do but I wonder why and so I'll prepare a video for you that actually explains why uh, multiplication in trigonometric form works as well as it does.